What's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going back to the lunar eclipse of May 15th of 2022. I've received yet more incredible footage of some sort of mysterious objects in the sky during the rare lunar eclipse. You'll, you'll definitely want to stick around for that. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent from all around the world. But first here at the website, I'd like to give Earth Day shout outs today to Letitia D, Rush G, Elizabeth Button, whose birthdays are today, June 11th of 2022. Congratulations on yet another trip around the sun. Today's photo here here at the homepage of the website was sent in by Jennifer from right out here in Phoenix, Arizona. As you can clearly see, it looks like a, a giant heart-shaped cloud in the daytime sky. Looking at the Schumann resonance in the last 48 hours, no major spikes, but definitely activity in the Schumann resonance. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano, seeing a abundance of red vertical lines up here in the northwestern quadrant of the supervolcano Caldera, including Mary Lake. Those red lines mean small earthquakes, nothing major. Still seeing activity up here at Mammoth Vault. The, the dark blue lines indicate magma intrusion. Again, nothing major going on, but we are watching the earthquakes in the northwestern quadrant very, very closely. Looking at the Sahara sand situation, you can see the, the sand plume has once again made the 4,000 mile journey from the western Sahara, occupying most of the Gulf of Mexico and a large portion of the Caribbean Sea. Look for the sand to stick around for several days, if not the next several weeks. Coming over here to MoonGiant.com, June 14th, we'll see a full moon. That will be a super moon on Tuesday, June 14th. So get your cameras ready. Should be an incredible sight in the evening sky. It's a strawberry super moon. I want to take you guys now back to the, the lunar eclipse of May 15th of 2022. Huntington, West Virginia, May 15th, something mysterious near the moon during the eclipse. Video footage sent in by Melissa. See that right there? Something flew in the field of view, and she said right there, something just flew right past it. So what I'm going to do is zoom in, take a closer look at this object. I don't know what it is, and I don't claim to know. I'm just simply passing it along. They observed this object firsthand, didn't recognize it as a bird, didn't recognize it as an airplane, and it certainly was not a helicopter. Here I zoom in even closer. I slow it down. looks rather large. In fact, it looks very large to be a bird. I have no idea what that was. I've received video footage from multiple people in multiple states that all witnessed something mysterious during the lunar eclipse. And here's yet another example of a mysterious object in the nighttime sky during the rare lunar eclipse. I want to take you guys now back to Alabama. Here's yet another object that showed up. This was witnessed by two people. A young lady from right there from North Carolina saw this same green object like Maria saw out of Alabama. Just briefly, right there, some sort of object appeared in the field of view. Normally, I would say something like that would be a lens artifact, but considering two different people from two different states saw the same green object just very briefly during the eclipse, I think that too was up in the field of view during the lunar eclipse. I want to take you guys now down to Florida. I received some incredible footage out of Fort Lauderdale by V. Lynn of some sort of a bizarre craft that appeared to be just parked up in the sky at around the 2 o'clock position during the lunar eclipse. This video footage was sent in by V. Lynn out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And if this object was inside the atmosphere, it would have been way out above the Atlantic Ocean where there's no land. So there was something out this direction. They were looking towards the east and in their entire field of view looking east, it's all ocean. So they're looking this way and this object is out here somewhere unless it's outside the atmosphere. So the first video you saw was from Fort Lauderdale. The next video you're going to see is out of Hollywood, Florida. Video footage sent in by Hustle Queen, and this is during the May 15th lunar eclipse. She was very taken back by this object, and as you'll see in this video, there appears to be more than one. There's two up there. Looks like some sort of a compartmentalized orange cylinder, and as you're going to see, there's two. Check it out. She says they're moving. It looks like either the clouds are moving or this object is moving, but again, this was during the lunar eclipse. It appears to be the, the same thing that V. Lynn saw from Fort Lauderdale. However, as you can see in this video, there's two. Are you serious? What was that thing? It's the same object. They're probably less than 30 miles apart along the east coast of Florida watching the eclipse when this thing appears in the nighttime sky. I've never seen anything quite like this. 
very rare observation. Again, this was a video taken by Hustle Queen. Apparently, at the same time, V. Lynn was observing the eclipse. Now it looks like it's gone back to, to one object, either that or its angle has changed just a little bit where it appears to be just one. And then here in a second, you're going to see it look like two again. So I think there were two up there, whatever they are. And they're just kind of sitting there at a, what, 15, maybe 20 degree angle, like they're looking at the eclipse or observing it like a lot of people were on the ground. The sky was a little bit cloudy along the east coast of Florida during the eclipse, but this thing was still very obvious in the nighttime sky. And again, they were quite taken back by whatever this object was, a very mysterious object in the nighttime sky during the rare lunar eclipse. You can't make this stuff up. This is exactly how it was given to me, and I'm simply sharing it with you guys all I've done is zoom in here they are side by side the observation from Fort Lauderdale and the observation from Hollywood same exact object in the same location of the sky with respect to the the lunar eclipse great job guys keep the photos and videos coming also in this video I've got a brand new picture slideshow new sky phenomena photos and have them all around the world starting off in Brentwood California photos sent in by Walt of a very impressive giant halo occupying the sky above Brentwood, California. Yet another excellent example of a very intense giant halo by Maz out of Liberia, Costa Rica. Very intense jumbo halos occupying the, the daytime sky. Carlos Skywatcher out of Portugal. Another awesome sunset photo here by Clayton M. out of Edmond, Oklahoma. Orange mammatus clouds look like cotton balls in the daytime sky. Another awesome photo as storms were moving through the Edmond, Oklahoma area here a few days ago. Photo here by Brian out of Queensland, Australia of some sort of a rare purple haze in the sky during sunset. And he said the camera really didn't detect all of this purple haze that was in the sky as the sun was dipping down below the horizon. He said it was quite a sky spectacle. Once again, rare purple haze visible from Queensland, Australia. John S. out of New Zealand. Fiery orange sky at sunset as the ocean was glowing orange along with the orange sky. Excellent photos. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.